We are back with expert antiques appraiser Dr. Lori to look at a few more items sent in by you, our viewers. And Dr. Lori is joining us from our studio, her studio in Bucks County with the biggest nutcracker I've ever seen. Yeah, my dad used to collect nutcrackers. We have a lot of them. Did you see? We all made the nice list. Well, that's good. <laughs> I, see I know. I'm so happy. There's a, a, an especially big check mark next to your name. <laughs> I noticed. You were right. extra nice. <laughs> right. I know Santa still needs to check that twice. Um, but Linda sent us in a picture of a paper Santa from Japan. Yeah, this oh, wow. is a wonderful paper Santa. And the Japanese are very interested in paper making. There's a whole process. It's wonderful. When I was in Japan, it was amazing to see how they made paper and how important paper is to their culture. So this is a Japanese Santa. And of course, this particular one is one that would go along with your Christmas holiday decorations. Um, it is not a candy container. It's just an image or a figure of Santa made of paper. Very beautiful. How old wow. is it? Um, I think that the Santa is probably from somewhere in the middle part of the 20th century, so I'd say after World War II, before 1970. And how rare would it be to have it here in America today? The, the, the material makes it a little bit rare because, you know, to keep it in this condition because of what it's made of is right. pretty rare. Oh, that's Good fascinating. Question. Yeah, I've never seen anything thinking, like that. Thinking. Today, today thinking. is one of those days where it's, I, I have no idea right. with any of them. Right. Um, That's what makes it fun. It does You're make right, it fun. You're right, Dr. Lori. I, I don't know if this is high or low, but I'm I, just going to guess. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm insulting it. I'm afraid this is too low. I know. I went 125 I went 250 $175. Well, I don't know. Is it my... Am that I, means you win, yes. <laughs> I love the moment when we look at each other where we both have to do math. <laughs> like, are you, can wait, you do this one? Who's, who's closer? <laughs> Here's the thing. I, whatever. It's fine. I get up so early, I can't remember anything. I don't even know what I had for breakfast. Dr. Lori, uh, Marcy sent us a baby sleigh. Yeah, it's a baby sleigh because everybody wants to play out in the snow, right? So it's for the baby, and that, then you can, of course, push, but pull him or her along, and it's got a little kind of a, a little support in the back. Um, it's a baby sleigh from the middle part of the 1900s, uh, probably sometime between 1950 and 1960. It's a nice one. It's not in great condition. It's kind of rusted, but, you know, a little sandpaper and some new spray paint will fix that right up. What's it say on it? I'm, is it just happy holidays? It says baby sleigh. Oh, it says baby <laughs> sleigh. I couldn't read it on the monitor here. It's Okay. I'm so glad you said pull because I just had this image of someone like pushing their baby down a hill and the baby's like, <laughs> and that is not okay. That's not okay. Yes. That uh, would be bad. That's how I babysit. When I used to babysit, it was a free for all. So, you know. <laughs> Dr. Lori, let me know if you're available this weekend. <laughs> I'll help you out. Those uh, kids will behave. Is, is something okay. like this rare? I feel like a lot of families probably had something like this. Yes. yes. Yes, they're in garages all over the place. Yes, pretty common. I almost feel like I would love something like this for decoration. I, well, that's yeah. interesting, like a isn't it? Repurposing of it. Yeah, you know? like now almost hang thinking. it on the wall or something. Now yeah. You're okay. Thinking. Now, so I, now, now think I. Now about I've... that with relates to the price. Think about that with relate to the price. Okay, oh, now see, because you okay. were so, see, I listened to her voice. She was so nonchalant about it I before, know. and, and now, now she's gotten all excited about it. So I'm going back to my. Oh, you are. I'm going well, back to what I originally much. said. Okay. It's okay. a roller coaster here, David. I, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm holding one, on. 150, Dr. Lori. I say 175. It's worth 160 dollars. That means Heather wins. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Okay. Lori. <laughs> Thank you for doing the math, Dr. Lori. So it's two, two to two, and we have one more item. And so this is the punch tin nativity scene that we showed everybody earlier, and this was oh, sent beautiful. in by Sarah. And this is quite unique too, Dr. Lori. Yeah, this is beautiful. Most of these are made in people collect nativity scenes, um, nativity sets. Most of the punch tin ones are made in Mexico. This particular one has much, all of the areas. It has the, the shepherd with the sheep. It has some other animals, of course, and the Christ child, the angel, the baby Jesus, Joseph, everybody's there. It's a really nice nativity um, of punched tin. And, and is this something that was like, do they still make this or is this yes. an antique? Like the one we're that, looking that at one there. Is an antique. That one is vintage, okay, not 100 years old, but vintage. Okay. And they do still make them today. 
Gosh, it's beautiful. Um, okay. I don't even know what, what else to ask to try to like narrow this down. Let's take it. I, I'm just this taking a guess. Tiebreaker. Yeah, this is the big tiebreaker. They're about, yeah, two, inches they're about two, three inches tall each. Not too okay. big for each figure. I, okay. I think it's beautiful, so I'm going 200. I went 300 because I think it's beautiful -er. <laughs> it's beautiful, but not beautiful. Er, it's worth two hundred. Okay. All right, Heather wins. That means I pulled out a win. Going into commercial, I didn't think it was possible, but yet here we are. Yeah, you were down. It was two zero. I look at you, three <laughs> in a row. Dr. Lori, thanks so much. Happy holidays. See you next week. See you next yes. week. And make sure to send us your pictures for a future episode with Dr. Lori. Now, some of you post them on our Facebook page, but make sure to email them with any info you have to ptl at kdka.com. That's where to send them. And then watch for Dr. Lori back here as a regular guest every Tuesday.